card number eight my lovable fascist my lovable fascist yakuza in the background i believe japan the map let's see where this takes us Card number eight, Wilbury and the Yakuza. Less well known than the, C than the CIA collusion with Corsican gangsters in France and the US is the US military's use of Yakuza gangs in Japan. The Japanese equivalent of the Italian mafia, Yakuza syndicates have controlled the rackets in Japan since the early 1900s. Long allied with the ultra nationalist right yakuza thugs provide the muscle which suppressed the left and kept fascists in power during world war ii after the war japan was occupied by the allies under supreme command for the allied powers general douglas macarthur in 1946 macarthur's g2 intelligence intelligence chief major general charles wilbury began paying yakuza criminals to break communist legs leg strikes and infiltrate labor unions born adolf Witt wedenbanch in germany and called my beloved fascist by macarthur wilbury recruited japan's former chief of military intelligence Lieutenant, Lieutenant General says Sizu Arizu to help run his covert operations and succeeded in freeing many Class A war criminals. One of these men, Yoshu, Yoshio uh, Kodama, served as a liaison between G2 and Yakuza gangs and later worked for the CIA for 25 years. What the Corsicans, be, what the Corsicans be, became to the heroin trade, the Yakuza became to the Asian amphetamine market, a monopoly they still hold. Amphetamines, speed, have been popular in Japan since World War II, when the most well-known military users of amphetamines were kamikaze pilots. Today, Yakuza have allied with Chinese triads in Hong Kong and Taiwan in global sales of heroin and speed. Together, they now market a smokable amphetamine called ice, common in Hawaii, but still rare in the US mainland. Ice is cheaper and more potent than crack cocaine and could become the next drug epidemic. Card number eight my lovable fascist serious dose of history wow 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 serious dose of history